Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a review of the Pelican M205 Black Fountain Pen with the broad steel nib. Now, I have several Pelican M205 or M200 series fountain pens, and quite honestly, they are one of my favourite fountain pens. They're really, really good quality pens you pay a lot more for them obviously um but it is if you like the best entry into the pelican fine writing range of fountain pens there is and they are quite collectible i mean they're available in a range of colors i've done a couple of um couple of reviews covering different colors because the colors are often quite unique and very attractive um, there's all sorts of colours, there's basic uh, green marbled which is in line with the rest of the uh, Pelican fine writing series, there's marbled blues, there's marbled browns, there's teals, other colours, sometimes solid colours but this is the understated and in my opinion really really rather attractive straightforward no nonsense black. So I'm going to cover all of the pen as I usually do in my videos so please do um, hit subscribe and uh, turn on all notifications if you're interested in seeing more of these type of videos have a look at my watch list my playlist things like that because there is a wealth of information in there covering all sorts of different fountain pens mainly the affordable ones below let's just say 150 pounds 150 dollars that type of price range and this falls into that category just. Um, I bought this second hand, it was a used pen and somebody was selling it at an absolute bargain price, it was about a third of the full retail price so I was very happy with this purchase. So anyway, over to the pen. It is a black pen, it's got silver trimmings basically and that is the M205, the M200 have gold trims uh, so this has silver trims on top you have the pelican logo with the pelican chick which i i absolutely adore i think i think it's one of the nicest logos in all the fountain pens um the depending on the date in the era the uh, pen is from you will see different um finials with different number of chicks things like that but the logo is very much the same. Silver finial around the edge there and of course the pelican beak clip which I always think is a really really good design. It's not only attractive and very unique to pelican, it is actually very functional. It's, it's got rounded ends, rounded corners, things like that and it slides on and off things properly but there is a good amount of strength to these clips it's not so tight that it won't clip onto and off things easily but it's very secure it's a really good quality kit clip silver cap band black barrel of the pen it's all black other than the silver which tapers down slightly and there is a bit of a step down down here silver Piston turning knob, end, finial, I don't know what you call it, call it, band, and then the piston turning knob. Now the great thing that I really like about the Pelican M205 and the M200 and in fact all of that range of pens is the fact that they, they are piston filling fountain pens. So they hold a lot of ink in the barrel, you fill them from a bottle of ink and yeah, I, I just like the fact that they hold a decent amount of ink. I'm not talking astonishing amounts by today's standards because there are some piston fill fountain pens which are pretty much designed to hold several millilitres of ink, huge capacity, but these, you know, it's, it, it, it's in the everyday writing sort of capacity. You're not going to run out of ink if you fill this up and go for a full day of writing notes. You probably going to be all right so anyway the cap unscrews screw cap so it unscrews in less than one turn it's about three quarters of a turn and to be honest that's not only a really good feature um, because it makes these quick to use 
easy to take notes. Um, but I actually really like the fact that the uncapping mechanism, the un uncapping action is, is very, very smooth on all of these pens. It's, it's, it's buttery smooth. Um, there's no grinding, there's no tension. You, you do sometimes have to just give the cap a slight twist, make it finger tight, um, because it can come unscrewed, uncapped. So just be aware of that. Um, the caps never have any drying out issues. Really, really good. And the nibs are steel. And this one is a silver coloured broad steel nib with the Pelican logo on. The nibs are interchangeable. So if you have a broad, a medium and a fine, you can swap the nibs between them as you wish. So you've always got a range of writing styles if you have more nibs or more of these pens. Section, it's all plastic, it's all resin. Section is quite small. I'm going to have to be honest with you, because this is the smallest of the, if you like, the Suveron high-end fine writing Pelican series, this is the smallest pen. But as you can see, in my hand, absolutely fine. You know, some people are going to say, oh, I'll move up to the M400. The M400 isn't a great deal bigger. So you move up to the M600, still not a great deal bigger. It's only when you get up to the M800 that you start to see really, really big Pelican fountain pens. They are available as ballpoints as well. Um, but I find the M200 series really, really comfortable, smallish fountain pens, but they are quite good because... You know, they're not oversized. These will fit into bags, pockets, things like that, if that's your thing. I mean, personally, I use a pen roll. So they're not the longest. I'm going to stick a Lamy Safari next to it for comparison. So there's the overall length. I mean, it's not... Let's do it this way, just so you can see. That it might be affected by the lighting from this window. So, I mean, you're talking a good couple of centimetres shorter than a Lamy Safari when they're capped, uncapped. Let's just show you this comparison side by side. I mean, it is, it's not a huge difference. So, anyone who says, oh, the Pelican M200 series, the M205, they're too short. It's only about a centimetre shorter than the Lamy Safari on cat. And the Lamy Safari is, in itself, a perfectly adequately sized pen. So I've got no issues with this. And, of course, the caps post. And they post very securely. Never fall off. Really good. And they post, I'd say, fairly deeply. And in that action there you've got a really good size fountain pen so if you did want a longer fountain pen for longer writing periods posted perfect and i do actually write with these pens posted occasionally if i am writing pages and pages and i, I i'm perfectly happy with them um i'll just just show you the cap size the sorry posted size next to the lamy as you can see, huge difference now. We've got a good, maybe, I'd, I'd say possibly another couple of um, centimetres. And if you post the Lamy Safari, obviously, you know, you've got um, got a much bigger difference there. But not everybody wants to do that. So, yeah, Pelican M205, black, very happy with this, unposted or posted. Very comfortable, and this isn't a hugely slim pen either. It's smaller, yes, it's not hugely girthy, but it is not a slim pen. It's it's very comfortable, very, very nice to write with. And talking about writing, let's get on to that, because I do have to talk about these nibs. Right, the first off, I did a video, ooh, I think it might have been at the end of 2020, and it was my top fountain pens. I always tend to do one of those every year. Top fountain pens of the year. And somebody, in fact, two or three people said, oh, there's no Pelican in that list. For some reason, a lot of people like Pelicans and expect them to be in every list. 
it didn't make the cut. It just didn't. I had other pens that I'd used much more than any Pelican Fountain pen. And as it happens, since that time, this pen has been inked up. Um, and I've been using this solidly for 18 months, probably more like 20 months now. So getting on for two years, never flushed it, just filled it with the same ink, carried on using it. So this has had a lot of regular daily use. So there you go. This is going to make the cut for 2022. This will be in my top fountain pens of 2022 video. Um, no doubts about that. Had a lot of use. Uncapped. Let's right. Now there will be a bit of a hard start because I've had the cap off a fair bit, but absolutely nothing. I never have any issues with hard starting on this, even with the broad nib. And what can I say? It's a really good steel nib. I've never had a nib on a Pelican which has disappointed me. However, this particular nib, this broad, is slightly over-polished. And it will skip occasionally. But, in general use, I don't have any issues with it. And sometimes you can actually say, you know what, this nib skips a little bit. But you can also say, well, the paper's not good quality. This is Rhodia. I mean, this is your standard Rhodia pad. So it's, it's very consistent, and I, I do like this paper. So a bit, bit, bit of a skip there, because it's broad nib. They do tend to dry out, in my opinion, a little bit faster than fines. So that is something to just be aware of. But it lays down the ink very well. So let's just do the writing sample. No issues. I mean, I must admit, broad nibs can be a bit finicky to write with. Um, it depends on your writing style, your handwriting, things like that. But I am very, very pleased with this. And I mean, 18 to 20 months of solid use with it. And I've never felt the need to even swap inks or anything. I'm perfectly happy with it. It lays down lots and lots and lots and lots of ink. I mean, this ink there, that's going to take quite a while to dry, so it's a very, very wet nib. The ink, if you're interested, is another one of my favourite brands, it's KWZ, KWZ, depending on where you are, and this is Foggy Green. It's a very dark green, I wouldn't say it's a green black but it's not far off very very dark green ink um reverse writing is no not good but that is not how the nib is supposed to be written with um it's that scratchy you can almost feel the tines trying to part it's, it's not not good but remember reverse writing isn't something that you will find is consistent from nib to nib. Even nibs, you know, you can have a, two Pelican M205 blacks fitted with broad nibs, and both of them may be slightly different when you're writing with them in the usual fashion. So suddenly when you start messing around and reverse writing, one might write, write better than the other one. So I'm never going to hold that against a pen. So there you have it. I mean, it's a piston filler. The ink windows, now I recently refilled this, so you're probably not going to see the ink windows, but the ink windows are incorporated into the barrel just above the section here. Um, a row of striated uh, ink windows in there, but this is full of ink, so you're never going to be able to see through there, unfortunately. But it's a good way so that when you are maybe halfway through the use of a fill, you can hold the pen like that and just see that the ink is getting a little bit low. You might want to refill it, that type of thing. So, yeah, really, really happy and 
quite honestly, if you're interested in buying a Pelican fencing pen, I would honestly recommend that you try the M200 series, and the Pelican M205 in black is about the most, if you like, traditional looking, standard, it's, it's, it's elegant, it's understated, I love this pen an awful lot, it is, well, it's, it, it's going to be one of my favourites, it's definitely one of my favourite pens, um, and the black is just so classic. Need I say more? You know, little black dress and all that. You don't, you don't mess around with a formula that works. So, highly recommend the Pelican M two hundred five, in all its colours. But the black, yeah, goes with everything. So, thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye.